Hello everyone, I'm just checking that I'm on. If somebody can uh, tell me if uh, you can hear me and see me. Yes, it seems if everyone can see me, can they? I'm just reading here. It's a yes. Hello, hello everyone. How's it going? Um, nice to see you. I um, yeah. Well, I, I just it's been a while since I did one of these, and I thought this is the first time I've done it since the um, since my album has come out, and just before the my my life, obviously the the album life, and um, I just want to talk a bit about it and talk a bit about everything. Um, and uh, just see how you're all doing and I hope you all had a a good Christmas Happy New Year to you all as well I'm just sipping at the tea here as always somebody says haircut yes I got my haircut uh -huh. in preparation for the Acoustic by Canada tour which is starting um, in earnest in Dallas next Friday um, so all getting ready for that just seeing us all here. Hello from Hungary, Oklahoma, Colorado. Go Broncos, someone says. Chicago. Oregon. All over the place. Hello, hello, how's it going? Um, nice to see you all. What I'm going to do in this chat, um, well, chat, you can ask me questions. I've, I've, obviously got, I've uh, also got questions here that uh, you have uh, been asking me on, um, on the Facebook page. <clears throat> Excuse me, and I'm gonna answer a few of those for you as well. We might even get a wee bit of a song or something. You never know. It's early, and for anybody watching this, hopefully this is recording. Okay, I think it is recording. Um, but if anybody is watching it, I'm sorry that sometimes the um, it's hard to get the time that suits everybody. Basically, is what I'm trying to say. And so I know a lot of you. Hello, um, Indiana. Melbourne, Florida. Hello, I'm just, just looking at the thing. Um, I know for, for some of you, like people in Australia and stuff, this might be the most appropriate time, so you're probably watching this on the uh, playback, and I'm sorry about that, but it's just trying to get, um, trying to get, uh, just reading, sorry, I'm reading, I'm just, you know, trying, trying to get a, a time that suits everybody, so hopefully next time around will be more suitable to the Australian people, and we'll, we'll work it out anyway. Oh, someone, uh, hello from Australia, triple one. So someone is there, it's, I think it's 4 a.m. in the morning or something in Australia, but thank you for, for staying up to, to listen in anyway. Someone says, nice coats helmet on the coffee table. Thank you, that's my uh, signed Peyton helmet. Takes pride of place in my, on my coffee table. Gee, that's Ran, Kajema, Tartu, Tamagamoy, Jessica. Thank you. Uh, right, okay, look, tell you what, I, I'm going to just go over some, some questions here. When I would start with that, um, I just printed these randomly off, off uh, Facebook. So let's see. Hi, Ran, my name is Caitlin Watt. Look forward to the chat. Thank you for the autograph, photo, and letter. <coughs> uh, just want to say you're wonderful. Thank you very much. Um, Saw CT back in September 2011 in Kitchener, Ontario. Lovely Kitchener, Ontario. So a few questions. One, where can I um, purchase your life album? Um, yeah, basically, if you go onto my website, you will get the link. Um, it's available to buy on cdbaby.com. Uh, just type in Ryan Kelly there, or on iTunes as well. So you can buy it uh, in both those places. And uh, yeah, do you go for runs or walk mostly every morning? And how do you find the trails? Yeah, I do try and run every day as much well as I can. Uh, how do you find the trails? Well, I'm on tour, it's just basically trial and error, really. Just go out and, and take a look and see. And uh, and yeah, sometimes I find trails, sometimes I just run on the roads, but that's where I get them from. What kind of dog is your pup? Molly is a cross between a boxer and a terrier. Yeah, she's a wee cross. Um, and I haven't got, I know the last time I was on, we were talking about, and I'll be talking on tour about getting a new dog as well, another dog. I just haven't got around to doing it yet. Maybe after the, um, 
maybe after the uh, I come back from the ABC tour, I'm thinking that's the time to get my dog. How much time do you spend running a day, Sonny asks. Um, well, it depends how long it takes me. Um, it's usually about an hour, seven and a half miles or so. Someone asks, are you still a Colts fan now that Peyton is gone? Um, this might be the answer to your question. Uh, yeah, it's a big, big, um, big, big football weekend as well. And we'll talk about that later. Um, can I request a birthday shout out? My 24th is tomorrow. That presume is today, I think, hopefully. So happy birthday, Caitlin. And did you write any songs for CT? Um, no, I didn't write any songs for CT, not yet, anyway. Well, I haven't used any of my songs yet, so you never know. Maybe someday. Maybe someday. Um, okay. Judith um, says, the brand new album Life is Phenomenal. I don't think I have ever tweeted at you so many times. Love all the songs. Thank you, Judith. Um, Question one, Live for Life. What is the story behind finding these two amazing African drummers and the vocalists? Um, the story behind that basically is that uh, Live for Life, for those of you who have, um, for those of you who have, have uh, saw the, um, or heard, heard the, the song, the final song of the album, I wrote it during the summer and uh, when I was writing the song, it sort of, um, <clears throat> I wanted a song of hope, you know, and that, that's exactly what, what I think, what I was trying to do with this, with the song. Um, you know, live for life is just, it is what it says. It's just sort of, you know, enjoying your life, living, living to live, I suppose, if, if that makes any sense. Um, you know, taking, I guess, courage in, in, in some things that go wrong in your life and, and, and you know, making the best out of them. Uh, you know, <clears throat> I talk about you know in the song the um, the chorus says you know rising like a phoenix from the flames, and that's what I was uh, trying to trying to get across. Um, is that people may things may get you down, people may get you down, whatever it is, but um, you know you live for life. Uh, you get back on, and, and you know. You take the good people around you and you surround yourself with the good people and you move forward and that's exactly what i'm trying to do and in doing that <clears throat> when i had written the song i actually went to uh the fantastic dave cook who uh, produced the album and we talked it over and uh, i always had an idea of having a, a choir sing the song the sing the chorus and uh through a connection of dave and and a a lady Heather who worked on the album with me as well, uh, helped produce the album with Dave. Um, she had a connection of a Zimbabwean choir, two ex Zimbabwean choir, and uh, we thought about that. I thought, God, you know what? I thought it'd just be perfect. This is what we need. Is this is Zimbabwean choir to sing this chorus? Because that's exactly what I foresaw the, the song being, you know, sung like a like a like an almost anthemic, I suppose. And uh, so we, we contacted the the, uh, the choir and lo and behold, they came along and, and uh, they went into the studio, sang the song. We got the African drummers, we got the full works and um, I loved the result. I loved what came out of it, you know. So, you know, funny how a song can start off life in a garden in the Moy in Ireland uh, and end up you know been sung by people with uh, you know, sung by uh, people who, who have uh, African connections these, these some people are actually you know a few of the people who are actually in the choir under the drummers were actually from uh, from Africa and uh, but now living in, in London and uh, yeah it was great it all came together really well it was so so happy for it you know so um i'm glad you like it it has got a lot of um there's a lot of people you know uh, it has got a, a lot of uh reaction i think that's um more so probably than any of the songs um and it's good it's great and uh, as i said you know i came back from nepal and and uh, 
I just thought I, I wanted to get that. So I don't know if you've saw the, the, the song I, or the, the video I posted just on my pictures in Nepal. I got it kindly done for me um, with the song. I just thought the song was sort of uh, ideal for, for that, you know, and to see what was, uh, you know, I, I guess the song represented what I was seeing in Nepal as well, you know, so it was, uh, it was great. Um, Dead on South Dakota is a great choice. Is there a special reason why I chose that one? Um, yeah, Dead on South Dakota is one of the covers I sing on the album. And uh, the story behind it basically is that uh, I remember being, I guess, six or seven years old and traveling to on holiday with my mum and dad to Galway down south and um, when uh, down to the south of Ireland um, and uh, my sister gave me a, a tape that's how old that shows you my age uh, a tape to play in the car and it was a Nancy, a Nancy Griffith album um, and uh, one of the songs on the Nancy Griffith album was uh, she, she covered Dead with South Dakota and I just loved the song and uh, never heard it before I never heard it since it's actually an Eric Taylor song I called Eric Taylor wrote it performed it um, and I love the story I love this the I said so many times, but I'm always talking about. Um, you know, I, I always think it's so important to uh, to tell stories through songs. And whenever I hear that song, every time I hear it, I just, I think you're just transported to that saloon in the Wild West um, a few hundred years ago. Um, and it's almost as you're sitting there just listening to all this story going, you know, and these guys telling the story uh, about Crazy Horse. And uh, that, that's that's the reason why I always loved that. I just love that, 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 that um, you know, as I say, I just, I just love songs where there's a story. That's what I try, I've tried to do with this whole album, to be honest. It's just sort of the songs I've written as I've just trying to, to let you see a story in there. And, and I hope. That when you are listening to the to the um, when you are listening to the, to all the songs that you know you are getting mental pictures in your head of what these stories represent, you know, and that's exactly um, what I what I have tried to do with with the album. I hope that's worked, you know, um, and that was yeah. As I say, it's the reason for um, Dead with South Dakota. It's the reason for. Um, the band played Wasa Matildas on the album as well. Again, it's a song that I have sang for years. I remember it when I was young. Uh, a child, I sang it. And uh, I think more so than ever then, <clears throat> the story goes that that I um, I just, I, I videoed it one day, um, got it videoed for an, uh, just me playing acoustically and put it on YouTube. And... Um, it turns out when we when we were touring Australia, because it just it obviously you know with the connection to Australia, I thought it was just uh, appropriate to, to to sing it and play it there. And uh, our Australian tour manager and part of the touring company, Sue, uh, actually contacted me and said, "Do you realise? Do you mind if I send that? I love your version of it. Do you mind if I send that to um, send your version to the songwriter Eric Bogle?" And I was just I got yes, please do, because um, I you know. I'm, I've always been a massive fan of Eric Bogle, you know, obviously on the acoustic, uh, Acoustically Irish album with Neil, I, um, we recorded um, uh, No Man's Land, which is another Eric Bogle song, um, so I've loved that, and, and uh, you know, he's just he's a fantastic songwriter, so I met him anyway, and uh, he said he really he really liked my version of the band Pretty Matilda, and um, so I said, you know, I would love to put it on an album. And he said, yeah, I'd love you to do that. So that's where it came from. And I was just so, so um, honoured that, that he would allow me to do that. And, and so I went ahead and put it, put it on the album. And, uh, you know, happy to have it there on the album as well. Uh, are there any songs that had to be left out from this album? Yeah, I mean... 
I, I've I've written quite a load, quite a lot, quite a load um, of songs, uh, and I haven't. Uh, obviously, they couldn't all go in the album. So I had to make it sort of some sort of choice uh, of of what I could have on and what I couldn't have on the album. Um, so not everything's made the album, but I, I'm quite happy with what the thirteen tracks that I have on it. Yeah. I was a bit worried about being 13 and the lucky number stuff, but I said no, because I couldn't, I didn't want to leave anything off it that, that I have on it now, and I'm glad they're all, they're all on it, you know. Um, how's your smell these days? <laughs> Judith asked. For anybody who doesn't know, I lost my sense of smell when I uh, ended up in the coma last year. Um, so it, it's still up back, to answer your question. It's still going. Oh, well. Maybe someday, maybe someday. Jessica Hall says, what's your middle name, John? My middle name is Ryan John Kelly. Judith Cutler asks, hi Ryan, do you run 10 miles while on tour because you get lost? If not, how do you not get lost? Um, I do get lost sometimes, that's actually true. Uh, but how do I not get lost by, um, I have a GPS watch. I had to because, I know I've told this story before, but I don't know for anybody who hasn't heard it. Um, I was running in Canada, and I just, we were on tour in Canada, I just got off the bus, went into the venue, uh, put on my uh, trainers, and got out and ran. And uh, I've been running for quite a bit, and then I realised, I'm not quite sure, I just then sort of dawned me, I don't really remember where I've ran from. Um, so that's right. I was. I had to. I was asking. So I said to. And then I couldn't remember. Well, I knew we been playing. We were playing in an ice hockey arena, but it'd be in Canada, of course. Uh, you could actually like your like your uh, hockey up there. And um, so when I when I I was asking people, I said, "Look, I'm really sorry. I just want to know. Can you can tell me where the ice hockey arena is?" And they said, "Look, there's three in this um, town." Um, and I was like, oh, right. And I didn't know which one to use. So I had, a, I ended up having to go to, uh, 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 senior citizens home, uh, an old people's home. Um, and, uh, I had to stop there and I had to ask the Ken girl behind the counter to let me on the internet so I could check the Celtic Thunder website to find out where we were playing. So then she could direct me back home back to the venue and from that day forward I decided to get a um, GPS watch because I need one and so I've had it ever, ever since. Um, let me see, I'm just looking down to the questions here. Where we got, where we go. Vicky Wing says, will there ever be a chance of you and Neil doing an ABC tour in Canada? It's always been the US. Can you give us a little hope? We love you there too. Um, Vicky, uh, the answer is yes. Yes, it's something that we are working on and uh, we would love to get up to Canada. It's going to happen. It will happen. Trust me. Um, we're um, Obviously, we're going out next week to do the uh, this, this, this tour of ABC. Um, and uh, it's it's all US at the minute. We're getting pretty close to Canada though, uh, up in the likes of Buffalo and there, so maybe you can come across the border. Um, but uh, yeah, we would definitely want to do that, and we're looking into Australia as well. So um, it will happen. Uh, Shirley says, hi Ryan, just checked it, what time it'll be here in, in Tassie, and it's 4am, although I'm often up setting Tom twins of 5 that are, I think sleep is needed where I can. So hopefully you're just watching this on, uh, on repeat then, I hope Shirley, um, can you give a shout out for me in Tassie? Hello Shirley and Tassie, and we'll see you in May, yes, Celtic Thunder is coming your way, so looking forward to that. Uh, let's see. 
Jacqueline McCallum says, absolutely love life. Hi, Jacqueline, by the way. Absolutely love life. The lyrics truly c communicate the ups and downs of life, and the music is phenomenal. It's an exquisite work right down to the beautiful artwork and cover design. I love that you include lyrics on the cover. It's always been important to me to do that, and that's I will always do that on my albums, is uh, have the lyrics there. Um, because I... Uh, Especially I've written the songs, I think it's important to for people to to um to know what I'm singing about, basically, you know, because it's not always. It's not, I think it's not. I I personally love to have an album with lyrics, you know, so I can read what people have written, you know, and that's that's why it's important to do it on this as well. Um, you said this album is you led bird. Do you see this album as a declaration of freedom and clarity, or simply an outpouring of your deep heart? Um, it's probably a bit of both to be honest. There's some songs on there that needed to be written that I needed to write, um, and needed to be heard basically, and I'm. That's why I wanted the album out there, and uh, your your reaction has been fantastic, and and I can't ask for more for that. I really really appreciate that, you know, that is the case uh, that 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 you have. You've let me do that. You've let me pour out my heart, I suppose, in a lot of these album, a lot of these songs. Um, and yeah, that that's it was important for me to do that, you know. Um, and you know, for for a lot of the songs, uh, like songs like um, your, your time, um, or sort of. I, I guess it was a, you know, the the, the, the story behind that song really, um, it's really, it's just, it's a song about, uh, you know, sometimes when you think, you know, people, you know, and, you know, people can let things get on top of them and, uh, you know, do you ever think about running away? Do you ever feel it just wasn't your day? Uh, or your week, or your month, or your year, or your life, uh, is how the song starts, and, and it's, that's, you know, what it's trying to say that, is that, you know, we all have those times when, yeah, you do, and, and you think, life's too, it's too tough, things are too tough, and it's too much, but it's, you know, I want to say, in, in the course, I want it to be, you know, it's your time, you know, um, Come take my hand, let's together take a stand, you know, uh, so that you've got support from someone as well. And that's what I was trying to get across in that song. Um, and it's just, it, it just it basically fell out of me, the, the, the words, you know, when I was writing it. Um, um, and, you know, I, I just sort of it came together that way, and, and it's, I think it's. I guess if there's any message coming out of that song, it is that. It's just, uh, you know, it is just that. It's, 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 I guess the message is, you know, I think it's just it's sort of, well, mm, it's hard to say really what the message I guess the message is just that, that you know, it, it, it's perfectly that. We all have tough times, but, um, you know, take my hand and, you know, um, let's together take a stand. I think I'm going to sing it. <laughs> it's probably going to get, uh, it's going to make, make more sense if I actually sang the song, I suppose. So I grab my guitar. Oh. If you want to hear it. I hope you want to hear it anyway. <clears throat> um. Do you ever think about running right away? Do you ever feel it just wasn't your day? Or your week, or your month, or your life? Your life? Do 
Your wish you could empty your head Lock the light out and stay there in bed Turn your phone off and lock out of life And be free So take my hand Let's together take a stand Cause now I know it's your time It's your time Start your climb into the sun So remember just how far you've come where you were when you needed to run Now you're going where you've wanted to be For a while Though your journey has yet to conclude And your path has been misunderstood Keep your balance on this winding road in your home I'll be there too Every step I'll make with you And we both know It's your time It's your time Start your climb into the sun. It's your time. It's your time. Start your climb into the sun. Into the sun, into the sun. There you go, that's your time. Um, I've got to stop. I made the mistake of reading your comments while I was singing that song, and that's why I messed up the first verse. I sang the wrong words. There you go. So, at least you know it's live. Oh, I must also say, I hope you enjoy that. Um, I must also say, just when I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going through my fan mail uh, and stuff, there, the past uh, four, three or four days, I've been answering it and sending back stuff. Um, that you've sent and it's so good to get so many <clears throat> um life booklets book, uh, the inlays from from the album i've happily signed those and send them back to you and uh and then also there's uh some in time ones as well there which is i'm happy to do as well but um you know it, it's it's you're so kind and in your words and your messages and the presence that you send me it's just it's pretty, pretty incredible, um, and uh, I love doing it. So thank you so so much. I had to say that. And actually, um, when I'm on the subject, I came on here one day and was talking about the the mugs. I like the mugs from the different places around uh, the world. And you were sending me, you sent quite a few. Uh, let's just put it like that. Uh, since uh, so I thought I would. Um, let me show you some of them. So hopefully your your town is here, or your city is here, or somewhere close to you. There's quite a few. So we'll look. We'll do it pretty quickly. We'll go through them. Uh, here we go. Start with Indianapolis. Can you see that? But in the next, um, Ohio, Los Angeles. 
We got New York. Uh, Utah. Ohio again. Chicago. Um, Someone else I can get a same copy. Katie McLaughlin says, "Send it to me. Say get the send your your uh, booklet to me. At, you get you my PO box address at um, RyanKellyMusic.com. You'll get that. Uh, where have we got Denver? Oh, go Broncos. Um, California." Alaska. <laughs> I'd rather keep going here while I'm here. Let's see. There's so many. Arizona. Hawaii. California, I think I've did it already. Nashville. There's a lot more. Um, San Antonio. Here we go. Detroit. St. Louis. Um, Toronto. Philadelphia. Belfast. It's working from home. Tokyo. Brisbane. All the Australians. I think that's closer to home again. Northern Ireland. Um, what else have we got? Houston. Australia. Nearly done, I think. Lake Tahoe, Sydney, LA. I think I've done them all, I don't know. Um, but as you can see, there's quite a few. <laughs> so, uh, thank you so much for all those that you're sending me. Um, I have to build bigger cupboards, I think, in my house, but. It's uh, it's all worth it. <laughs> okay, I'll g keep going with the questions here. I'm I'm talking nonsense again as usual. Um, let's see. I I like the you know we're just trying to get as many questions as I can about the actual um, the album and the songs on the album. Uh, Uh, let me see. Linda Murdoch. Hi, Linda. Um, two questions. How was the release of Life different from the release of In Time? Was it more or less nerve wracking? Um, to be honest, it was probably equally as nerve wracking. I think. Uh, how is it different? I feel it's a different album. I feel. Someone's asked, sorry, I'm just, I'm not, I, I shouldn't be reading while well answer or reading the questions, but someone's asked me, did I, did they get the New Zealand mug? Yes, there it is. Thank you. There it is. I, maybe I didn't. I must have showed that one. Um, it, it's, um, getting back to life, what, what, I, I think it's, it's much more personal than in time, I think. Um, it's, a. Uh, it probably took took longer to write, I think. And um, but it, it wasn't any less uh, nerve wracking uh, when I was releasing it. No, definitely not, because these are songs that I'd said the studio, no one has heard, and I didn't know what way what people were going to think of it, what um, how people were going to react uh, to the songs and to the messages in the songs. You know, and that that was just important to me, just to see what. Uh, how, you know, I, as I say, I didn't know how people were going to view these songs and what, what the, um, 
and what they would mean to people. So I, uh, it is always nerve wracking when you are releasing an album, and you know I says I couldn't be happier with the response that, that from from yourselves. I mean, you've told me about the, what songs mean certain things to you, and you know how you're enjoying the songs, and and it just makes it all worthwhile to hear that. You know, so thank you so much for for that. Um, I just a uh, question just to about talk about Nepal and, and your experiences in Nepal. Um, yeah, Nepal was absolutely incredible. Uh, to be honest, it was. Um, I've said it enough times. I think I was tweeting it and, and writing a post about it to say that that um, it's it was life changing. The week was completely life changing, and and I think. It makes us, you know, we appreciate more so the work that the Leprosy Mission does, um, and 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 how crucial the work is they do. These people need our help, you know, and uh, I think we've all made the mistake of, you know, and I certainly have, and I've not known enough about these things that are happening in the world, and and you know, these people are suffering, and and you know, it's why I'm very much. Uh, uh, Big supporter of the leprosy mission and all it does now and um you know i just saw these incredible people who i met and then you met the children and the kids and they're just so lovely and they don't have much you know and uh it certainly makes you appreciate what we have as well you know um so it was it certainly was a um a fantastic trip uh Debbie Peterson Christ says, "Hi Ryan. So, what are all the instruments you can play?" <laughs> and then um, John Schweitzer writes underneath Debbie's comment, "Who's Ryan Kelly?" Um, <laughs> as far as, uh, like, who's this boy you're answering question to? That's um, that's me, John. I'm Ryan Kelly. Um, pleased to meet you. Uh, what are all the instruments you can play? Um, Badly or just in general, I could play. I play guitar. I play a wee bit on the piano, and uh, I play the tin whistle. You'll see the tin whistle loud and force again if anyone's coming to the ABC gigs. Uh, so I'll be doing getting that out again. Looking forward, so looking forward to to, to, to getting on tour again with Neil and uh, Dave Cook. He'll be out with us again. Uh, the maestro Dave is going to be amazing, and. Um, and also uh, Angie, of course, is going to be on the road with us as well. So the force and we'll be back in force come next, start off next Friday. Can't believe it. Next Friday we'll be playing our first gig in Dallas and moving from there. So if you can get along, come and see us and have a bit of crack. And we'll be singing and we'll be chatting after and signing and whatever you want done. So uh, come and see us for sure, you know. Um, if you can, if not, if we're not anywhere close to you this time, we are, we'll get close to you, we will, we promise. Mary Louise, Mary Louise Water, uh, says, hi Ryan, the Kelly Thunder this year, are they coming to Germany? Loving your album Life, they are fantastic songs, but the lyrics are so tiny, it's hard to read. I know, sorry about that, it's hard to get them all on, I swear, I, I, I've, Bad habit of writing long songs, I think, um, and then so I have to try and squeeze them all on. Uh, but uh, thank you, thank you for what you said on the album. It's Kelly Thunder coming to Germany. Um, there are certainly plans in place for Kelly Thunder to come to Europe, so it's still, uh, we still need to, uh, you know, work things out regarding that, but it's, it's exciting times. We would love, I can't wait to do that if we do come to Europe, you know, I really want to do that, so. That is the plans. Louise Sutter says, who are your picks for the football games this weekend, right? Mm, uh, let's see, big weekend. Um, I would say, just trying to think now. Um, I think Seattle probably beat New Orleans uh, today. I have a feeling the Colts could beat the Patriots. I'm not sure though. Could. Um, 
49ers are playing well. I think they might beat Carolina and Broncos going to beat the Chargers. So my picks would be Seattle, Indianapolis, San Francisco and Denver. I'll, I wouldn't be putting any money in those. I don't, don't uh, quote me on any of that, but uh, that's my, that would be my choices anyway. Jen Gossel says, last movie you saw, I saw American Hustle, and I thought it was outstanding. Uh, yeah, it was a uh, fantastic, anybody who hasn't seen it yet, I thoroughly recommend American Hustle. And uh, Dallas Buyers Club as well was excellent as well. So I've seen, uh, my wife, Frank Kelly's wife says, no Patriots will be, will beat the Colts. Sorry. Um, Sorry, wife, <laughs> we are. Um, but uh, yes, to explain that, somebody called Ryan Kelly's wife there said uh, that the Patriots will beat the, the, the Colts. I don't know. Could well happen. I don't know. It's hard to know. Did you ever find your luggage, Barbara Pierce? Yes. The lug uh, we lost our luggage for a few days on the way to um, Nepal, but it actually tur turned up in the end. So, oh, it's good to dance, good. Uh, Lois Bohm says one more question if you could pick any part of your recent trip to Nepal as your favorite or most eye-opening experience what would it be um it's hard to pick one actual part of it to be honest it's, my eyes are open that that's true eye-opening experience is correct you said the right, right way just I think just this even the spirit of, I think the spirit of the people was was absolutely opening. Um even these people are have so such difficult, difficult times. Uh and they live in awful conditions and they're still there's still the spirit there, you know, and that's that's a um and they so appreciate the help that the leprosy mission gives them and, and the charities give them, you know, and that's a massive thing. You know. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't think it's one exact point, you know what I mean? There's so much, to be honest, so much stuff. Uh, <clears throat> if I can do the questions here. Let me see what else we got. Uh, Lorraine Burke says, Hey, Ryan, I'm going to see you and Neil and Yonkers. Um, wondering if you guys will have your CDs for, on sale. Uh, we'll have acoustic ARs for sale at the, at the, at the show. So, um, it'll be good to see you there. And yes, we'll have there and posters and all the rest of the stuff so uh, um, I'm just sorry I'm losing just like what's over up oh, Tango Dancer says <coughs> il est temps pour une question en français Est-ce que tu as visité la France? Qu'est-ce que tu as vu? Aimerais voir. Sinon, je serais content avec un simple salut. Félicitations pour toutes les bonnes choses qui te sont arrivées en. Euh, merci, merci beaucoup. Euh, hmm, je n'ai jamais été en France, euh, malheureusement. Euh, merci beaucoup pour ça. That's my bit of French, that's about all I can remember for today anyway. Uh somebody says, How's your bike? My bike is great. It's it's um it's just uh it hasn't got much use over because it's it's pretty dark and cold in here. So after it's gonna be when it gets a bit lighter again I'll get back out. I know years are having awful weather, especially in the US and in in, in Canada at the minute, so I just hope you're all keeping okay. Um 
Très bien avec votre français, ça vous dire merci beaucoup. <laughs> um, Jean Butler says, hi, I just want to say happy, happy new year and all the best. And to give a shout out to Halifax, Nova Scotia. We love you there. Hello, Halifax, Nova Scotia. I love Halifax, Nova Scotia as well. So the feeling is mutual. Uh, so hello to everyone there. Heather Jordan says, do you have a different person you think of for each of your songs? So many of them sound very personal. They are very personal. Um, do you have a different person in some? Um, but I've said before, and, and that's, I really want to get that across, is that I love uh, people to take their own stories out of songs, you know, and, 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 and out, of, out of my own songs as well. Um, so if there's a song, you know, that uh, makes you think of somebody in your life, then that's what I want. So I don't want, I, I don't want a song to be specific to just people in my life, you know what I mean? That's, that's what I'm trying to get. Um, that's what I'm trying to get, trying to get out there. Um, I, I want you to take hold of the song yourself and, and, and treat it as your own, you know, and that's, that's what I'm trying to do. I just saw a question there come up, it just interested me actually. I gotta find out personally, send it, where is it now? I, it's, 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 uh, the question has sort of moved off the screen, but it, the question was, do you ever get to meet the the songwriters of the songs that you cover? Which I thought was an interesting question. Uh, I've already spoke about meeting Eric Bogle, um, who <coughs> uh, I met him in Australia after a Celtic Thunder show, and loved, it was fantastic meeting him. You know, he's such a, he's a bit of a hero of mine, hero songwriter. Um, so the other... Uh, I haven't got the the, the 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 writer, as I said, of a uh, Dead with South Dakota is a guy called Eric Taylor. I haven't got to meet Eric yet, um, but I have sort of been we've been sort of uh, passing back correspondence back and forward, um, and he's a great performer too, and, and I'd love to meet him uh, at some stage, you know. Um, so hopefully that can happen. Uh, the other two covers of on the album that I haven't written myself were uh, Messages uh, is written by a good friend Brian McAteer um, and yes so I've met Brian obviously a lot because uh, I know him and yeah Brian asked me to, to record that song Messages for him a few years ago and then which I did um, and, uh, and then when I was Writing, when I was recording this album, I thought, God, you know, I I always wanted a message to be on the album because I love the song. And I thought it fitted well with, with the album itself. So, um, yeah, I was happy to have it on. And, and he, he loves the version that we've done of it. And similarly, um, Samba from May to September is somebody uh, is asking a lot about that Samba. Um, it was a song actually written by... Dave Cook, who produced the album along with uh, Heather Simpson, his fiance, and um, they came to me with the song and said, "Look, would you, would you, would you like to to record this?" And uh, I loved it. I loved the song, and I thought it, it, you know, it was, it was, it's a bit different than than the rest of the songs on the album. But I liked that about it. I think, you know, it was good to have that. Just a, something very different. Um, that sort of maybe stands out, and it's a, you know it's a bit of fun as well, and, and people seem to be appreciating that and, and see it for what it is. I mean, just don't ask me to dance the samba; that could be very difficult. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, I do. Uh, yeah, I. Uh, so to answer to answer your question, the only person I haven't met is um, Art Taylor yet. Um, oh, I see there's been quite a call for someone that you haven't seen yet, and I guess you probably, um, it wouldn't be a, it wouldn't be a Ryan Kelly, um, video chat without this man. Ah, the force I sense in you. Teach you more, I can. See, he always wants to teach, that's a good thing about Going Yoda. somewhere 
are we? No, I'm not going anywhere. I just, we're just putting you to one side, you know. I'm just saying, people are asking to see you, and that's just <laughs> tickled me. You have. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. I didn't mean to tickle you, Papa. But uh, uh, um, troubled. I sense you are. Your questions should I answer? Do you want to? Um, look at. I mean, I don't know. If the people want to ask you questions, maybe that's no. You have chosen. Ah, uh, well, I just think it's just maybe I don't know if it. They've got time to hear all your answers. Grief too hard, you have. Sorry, 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 Yoda. We'll put Yoda to one side, but there he is. Something else wish you to do. Yeah, well, I was going to... this for another time, mm -hmm. we will. Okay, let's do that, because I was going to play the people uh, another song, if that's okay. Do you want to listen? Just listen. Going but... somewhere, are we? Yes, I'm going to put you out of the way so I can play the guitar, if that's okay, Yoda. All right? Oh, he's getting worse. Um, okay, so I'm gonna play another song um, before this gets too out of hand. I'm gonna play. Let me see what I want to play. Do you know what? The force flow around you always in motion is the force. He's not gonna let me sing, is he? he just wants to. Oh God, uh, he just wants to talk. Anyway, um, <clears throat> I think I might play. Um, American Dream, why not? Um, and the, the story behind American Dream is that basically I wrote the song because <clears throat> I've always been fascinated by the USA. Um, I think from from a very young age, because um, I love the you know the American sports and I love. I just always wanted to. Okay. I'm gonna stop Yoda because he's doing my head in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, where was I? I was talking about yeah. I mean, America has always been. I've always had a fascination with America, um, and American culture, and and uh, I think there's always there's always been a big connection between the U.S. obviously and. Uh, Ireland and you know I just it, it made me think you know because I have spent a lot of, of time with with Celtic Thunder and then doing the acoustic shows with Neil and Turin and you know touring my own stuff um we got to spend a lot of time in, in, in the US uh among other places uh over the past few years and I just sort of um it just got me thinking about people who have you know came from, from all over the world to, to America, um, but mainly, well, on a personal level, I was thinking of people from Ireland who've come and, um, and have made America their, their life, basically, you know, um, left looking for a new life and uh, found it in the US. And uh, I mean, and it's what I always thought, I always dreamed I was, I was gonna do that, was, was to go and travel in, in America and get to travel in America now. Back in the day, I thought, when I was younger, I thought that was going to be as the uh, shooting guard for the Boston Celtics, but uh, that didn't happen. Um, I don't know why you're laughing. That was a very serious point. So, uh, no, my, my, my three-point shot wasn't as good as it could have been, I suppose. So I sort of uh, learned to sing instead. And so that's sort of, thankfully, that's taken me to the US and, and got me to travel around it and, and, and I've been able to do that, you know. Um, and so I wrote the song just basically uh, from, from the viewpoint of, of someone who has made a life in America and, uh, <clears throat> you know, that, that's, that's basically where the, where the song has come from. It's just someone looking back on their time and saying, you know, remind, remembering them when left and how this whole life has become. And I, I think it's, it's going to be very... <clears throat> I think, you know, that story is, can be told in, in, in so many homes back home in Ireland of people who have left here and travelled to the US, you know. Um, and so that's why I wrote the song and I want to play it for you now, if that's okay. Um, I hope you like it. Uh, let me just get my um, guitar. Looking for my plectrum there as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
Excuse me. So this is American Dream. Share the stories, the laughter and tears Last a child to the road The lowest my heart's ever found The cruelest card in the pack You could ever be dealt I need all I treat you well Can be brutal and be So I'll become part of this life my American dream It's been 25 years since I left on that packed up in rain And now I just wonder if I'll ever get back there again But there's never a day that goes past I don't think of my home Of my father and mother, my bloodline, my people, my own but this country has given me things I'd never have seen And I thank God that I got to live my American dream Yes, I thank God that I got to live my American dream Well, that's American dream um hope you like that um that's another song that uh I enjoy singing on on the uh acoustically uh, acoustic by can uh tours so um i'm hoping uh i can't can't wait to get back and doing that again i think the, the questions seem to have um Slow up a bit here. <clears throat> oh. 
Robin said, Robert says WC Canada. Yes, it could happen. It could well happen. Watch this space, Robin, as we say. Kathy Mead Child says, so have you any plans on coming to the Carolinas, either North or South Carolina? Um, and I see as Ruth Moyer Kenley says, and Maureen Smith as well, there just says, we are, we're going to be in uh, Cornelius, North Carolina, uh, on the 24th of January. So uh, yeah, come and see us there if you can. Always good to get back to North Carolina. Carol says, do you ever find your lost luggage? Yes, I did. We find the lost luggage. Yes, it's all that. Thank you. Um, Ryan, you and I drive to work every morning together, Robin Wagner says. I put you on every morning in the car on my drive to work. People that pass me by must think I'm nuts. I always have a big smile on my face and I'm singing so out of key. Um, that's then same on the way home. No matter how bad day it was, your music makes me smile. Who or what inspires you to write such wonderful music? Thank you for that, first of all. Um, Robin, um, who or what makes inspires you to write music? Things that happen in life, basically. Um, to be honest, are, are, are really... Uh, I find it easiest to write from personal experiences. And that's... Uh, what I do, um, and that, well, that's what I, what I try and do anyway, you know. Uh, so that's basically, you know, I, I think that that's the easiest way to um, to write music, you know. Um, that's what, what I feel easiest doing anyway, you know. Um, is uh, uh, is. I think then, you know, once then you're singing a song back, you know, and you've got that personal interest in it, then, you know, it, 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 it means you can live the song. That's what I try and do, you know. Tasha says, what song from life is your favourite to perform and why? To be honest, I've only, put, well, I mean, I, I don't know if you're talking about on a public scale. On a public scale, I've only performed um, American Dream, where I just played at the ABC shows, so I'm hoping to perform more in the in, in, in the coming uh, in the next while in the future yes let's do a lot more of that um but I do I do love just to play the songs yeah you know I do that uh, I was actually listening to the album today just to just get some thoughts about what I was gonna say today in this in the in the um in this chat and it got me thinking about the songs again uh, I'm just reading down through the uh, questions here. Encore. Good luck. Shout out to Jen in New York. Upcoming last semester of college. Good luck, Jen, and that. Um, Sammy says, did your mother make the beads you give to uh, the girl in um, Nepal? No, she didn't actually make, make them, but she... Um, they were her. She, she just gave me these and said, look, you know, with these, you know, I, I know these poor people, you know, we value these more than probably, you know, we value them. And, and, and uh, so I was, I was happy to do that. And uh, it was so amazing to see that girl's face that when I give her beads, these are beads that, you know, us in, in the, in, in, in the Western world, we sort of, I guess we take a little bit for granted, you know, some things like that, but she, you thought, I was giving her a million dollars, you know, that's how, um, that's really how, how, how uh, amazing it was to do that, you know, and just to see her face, you know, it was incredible. I just going down through. Nell's going to say, we've been celebrating three birthdays at the Boston show. Will you let us share some birthday cake with you? Always. I will always share a birthday cake, yes. Happy to do that. (laughs) 
How do you say welcome in Irish? Jessica says, Falcha. Falcha. Were you planning another trip to Nepal? S. McKinley too says, um, Yes, I would love to go back. I, I know I will go back. Definitely will. Um, it was an amazing trip, and I, I I'd love to go back and see the work that the the the, the um that the charity is doing, and just see how things are improving. And that's what I want to see. You know, I really do. Amy says, "Can I get a shout out for making the significant video?" Yes, you can, Amy. I love the video. Thank you so much for doing that. What makes my heart go pitter patter? <laughs> lots of things, lots of things, Laurie. Hello, Morgan Ray. You say hi. Did you ever think of a career away from Celtic Thunder, going more solo or more than with Neil as a Jew? Um, you know what? I I love being able to do both. To be honest, Celtic Thunder is going from strength to strength, and I love Celtic Thunder. I really do. And you know, so far so to you know, sing these amazing songs in these amazing places and, and do that, you know. So I love it and I, I love being able to do Gillic Thunder and do my own stuff and do stuff with Neil as well. So as long as I can do that, I will keep doing it. That's what I want to do. I'm enjoying it. Really am. CL Goodwin says, you often refer to yourself as an old man. How old are you? I'm the old age of 35. That is old. Hello, Carla. There's a shout out there. <laughs> Would you come to Denver for the ABC show? Yeah, I mean, we'd love to get there everywhere, to be honest. Uh, so we're just trying to get as many places as we can. So still hoping, still hoping. Are new guitars in your future? Someone asked. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm happy with my Gibson at the minute. Um, so, but I'm sure there's some around the corner, you know. Mary Frank says, Hi Ryan, love your songs, Desperado and Danny Boy, and of course your new CD life. The question is, have you ever considered doing Broadway? I loved your work in Nepal. God bless. Thank you, Mary. Um, God, yeah, I mean, Broadway would be a dream come true if I could as well. I'd love to do it. I mean, I, I love musical theatre, so, but you never know. You never know. Just see if I get I've got a few more questions in here now. I, am, I know I'm over the hour mark at this stage, but Uh, Debbie Romero says, Hi Ryan, I, have you, I hope you are having a lovely day. Thank you for the chat. I have a couple of questions, but mostly come from CD in time and carry over to life, which by the way are both amazing, but love life. It's very powerful. One, several songs seem to be about walking or running away, and in a couple of them it's mentioned about if I were a man or, or I'll be a man. For what or whom and the meaning about being a man? I just meant being a man as in, you know, You know, just just being brave, taking a, you know, I think in, in I think that the song you're probably referring to um, is actually uh, "Run Over Bridges." Um, uh, you know, I'm trying to think. Um, it's just it's just really just about, I guess you know, for once I'll be a man. Uh, at last I'll be strong now for once I'll be a man, I think, is the, is the, is the lyric. And it is that, it's just sort of, you know, you talk about people talk about man up, you know, and, and just, I, I just mean taking control of something, you know, at last, you know. Um, and that's, that's exactly what I'm just trying to get that. I think I might actually sing Run Over Bridges. I might finish with Run Over Bridges actually now that you've maybe think about that one. So I think I will, yeah. Um. What is behind Heaven Bound? Would you mind giving a little explanation? Heaven Bound of my first album in time. Um, a lot of people, you know, have, have commented on that and you know asked whether it is a is is it sort of personal? Is it autobiographical? Um, and it's the answer is no, it's not. Um, it's it's not. Uh, I I just I wrote about the song is about um. 
child abuse and struggle abuse and it was just that I'd read a lot about it and I thought I wanted to write a song about it um you know and, and write it in a, in, in a way that that um just a, from the from the um perspective of of someone who has been abused in the past and, and it still haunts them you know and that's where I was writing it from um but as I said it's not uh it's not autobiographical at all, thank God. I, I, I you know, I, I, I wasn't affected with, in any way with that. Um, we were one of the lucky ones, I suppose. But um, I know, you know, I've read about a lot of people who were, and that's why I was, I was, I, that's why I, I, um, I wrote the song. Um, where was that? Is that all the questions? Oh, that's yeah. Have a great weekend watching the playoffs. Broncos, Debbie says. So there you go. Um, I am looking forward to the football yes, this weekend. I think it's they're going to be great matches, and it's just a great time of season. And it's it's no um. I I don't think it's it's uh, any coincidence either that when we were, uh, working out the schedule for the uh, ABC tour forthcoming tour coming up that we have Super Bowl Sunday free. Uh, I made sure that happens. So um, yeah. If the Broncos got to the Super Bowl, what would be the chance of getting a ticket? Probably nil, but uh, that would be pretty special to do that if I could. But you never know. Uh, but it's i got to watch Super Bowl anyway, regardless of, of who's in the final and, and wherever I am. I think uh, maybe in Buffalo or somewhere. So we're going to do that. Uh, I'll definitely um, set time aside to watch the, uh, the, to, to, to watch the Super Bowl. I mean, a lot of football will be played before the Super Bowl, that's for sure. Uh, Becky Collins says, do you have any other musicians to assist you and Neil during ABC gigs? See you in Dallas, Texas, Friday night. See you in Friday night. Becky, you'll see Neil, myself and Dave Cook to answer your question. Yes, Dave Cook, the pianist, will be um, supporting us, uh, helping us along uh, with this tour. So uh, we had Dave in the um, one week only tour there in December and so it's great to have him back again and, and he adds so much to the to the show so it's great. You know, um, I'm just reading some of your messages here. You were saying they're going to root for the Broncos for me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Denise McCaskill says, just wanted to, you to know how much I love the ABC CD and your new CD life. They're both amazing. Thank you. So what's the story behind you choosing Samba for May to September? It's a pretty sexy song. That's the reason behind it, because it's such a, um, yeah, I, I did explain that, that uh, it's written by Dave, Dave Cook and uh, Heather Williams, and uh, so I, uh, yeah, and I just love it, and, and it's just, it's different, and, and that's what I love about it, it's, it's, it brings a different edge, I think, to the, to the, um, to the album, which I, which I really liked, you know, you know, I think I will probably leave you with, a song then. Uh, I know we're getting close to the the end of time here so uh, I just want to say again thank you so much for tuning in listening to me talk nonsense uh, for the past uh, hour and 12 minutes 59 seconds and counting um, thank you from him as well Yoda meditating I have been mm -hmm. at one with the force am I so he's happy anyway, he's a one with force, you know, but a, um, so thank you for him. He didn't play as going much. Going somewhere, are we? Yes, we are. We're going to, we're going to leave them here for now, Yoda. Um, but, uh, we just want to say thanks again. I also, uh, look, and, and thanks for all the support with life, life, you know, getting to the top of the charts and, and just, it's been amazing. Um, keep telling me what you think of it. Keep telling me your stories about it and what songs you like. And even what songs you don't like, um, I want to hear everything. But I, I just love love hearing what you're saying about it, and uh, I love hearing your your reaction to to it, you know, um, and to acoustic garage as well, and to all the CT stuff, and uh, yeah, I just.
not now, Yoda, don't test my knowledge now, please, you can do it later, I promise. But, um, uh, yeah, we're gonna, I'm gonna finish off with a song, uh, but again, I just want to say, look, thanks a million. I say it all the time, but it, 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 I can't say it enough. You are amazing people, and I love doing this because of, because of you. So, uh, thank you for, for everything you do. And uh, I hope this has recorded, so when anyone's watching it back, it has recorded, so that's uh, what a good thing. And we, we, I'll do it again pretty soon. For anyone who is um, coming to the ABC shows, I will see you in the next few weeks. For everybody else, uh, I'll see you again soon. And we'll do this again very, very soon, I'm sure. Because it's a bit of fun and I love doing it. Much wisdom Learn from each other we can. Alright, Yoda. It's, it's, it's only well. Uh, something else with you to do. Yes, I want to. Save this for another time. We will. Yes, Yoda, because I want to I wanna play for the people, please, if that's okay. But, um. He always seems to want to whenever I'm actually, whenever I'm uh, <laughs> getting ready to sing a song that he, that he wants to do it, I don't know why, but anyway. So I probably better tell you about this song, I wrote this song, it's one of the first songs I think I actually wrote. Um, well, to be fair, probably... I, 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 um, I'm just trying to think of the, of, the, of the order in which I wrote the songs for the album. Um, I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll take another time, come back over the songs again, you know. Um, and we'll do, do, we'll do it again, we'll talk more about that. Uh, but this, this I think was one of the, you know, I think Poison From Afar I had written quite, uh, it was the first song I was written a few years ago, but this one, um, then I think was the first one I, I wrote this summer. Um, <clears throat> again, it's just about someone being caught in, well, it'd be, it's just, you know, you're, sometimes you're caught in a rut, whether it be in a relationship, whether it be just in a, in a, in a sort of a, a way of thinking or something that you've just let something get on top of you and it's you know it's time we've done now you know move on and I, I just I, I, I like the thought of running over bridges between so you have, a, you have a bridge between the past and the future and you're you know you want to get away from the past and into the future so that's the bridge in between them all so um, that's where that came from and uh, I hope you like it. Uh, I'll uh, I'll leave you with this one. So thank you so much for listening and putting up with me. Thank you. It's time I moved on. Now, while I still can, last I'll be strong now. But once I'll be a man. I'll never be who you need me to be. So let me go and we both can be free. Running over bridges, connecting the past with a new. Making up the inches, and now separate me from you.
can look behind me. Kiss, I see your face. Won't let you remind me why I stayed so long with you in this place. I wanna feel free again. Away from what's bringing me down. Find that real me again That boy who fell in love here in this town To lose my inhibitions Places I can't be found Use this intermission to turn this to a life I'm living right around. So I'll go running over bridges connecting the past with the new. Picking up the inches and now separate me from you. Can't look behind me. Guess I see your face. you remind me why I stayed so long with you in this place I'll go running over bridges connecting the past with a new Making up the inches that now separate me from you. Thank you so much, folks. See you all soon. Bye for now. Take care.